So it's somewhat of a wet morning this morning and I'm on my way out. It's like uh, about 11 o'clock on a Thursday morning. And I am going to go to this uh, restaurant called Annie and Mott's. It's like a cafe. Let's see if I can get out of my two weeks and breakfast. So let's see what, uh, uh, let's see how the day goes. After that, I think we're going to try and go to the uh, Albrook Mall. Not necessarily to go shopping, <laughs> but just to check it out. Let's go and see what's going on today. All right, I found it. Coming up on it now. So we'll go inside and see what's going on. I hear the food's supposed to be good here. I ordered what they call a blueberry French toast casserole and a coffee. Oh my gosh, this blueberry French toast casserole is mucho bueno. Very good. Now, I'm just outside waiting for my Uber.
So from what I understand, there is no directory in this mall, but these different animals at all of the entrances are supposed to somehow or the other assist you in knowing where to go and what your location is and all that sort of thing. But as big as this mall is, they need a directory. They have tons of different stores in this mall. So attached to and across the way from the Oak Mall is Panama City's main public transportation hub. This is where you would come to catch a bus to go to anywhere else in the country of Panama. kinds of buses and a ton of people pass through this terminal on a daily basis. Hopped in an Uber and made my way over to Cali Canto, a restaurante in Costco Viejo. I had a nice cold Panama bear, beef ravioli, sprinkled some cheese on top. It was delicioso. Very good, very tasty. And I followed that up with lemon pie. Yummy. After that delicious meal, I'm gonna take a leisurely stroll around the old town of Costco Viejo and take in the sights and sounds. Hablamos a hablo en español un poco muy 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 bueno muy bueno muy bueno gracias que tengas un buen día Across the way there was the Bridge of the Americas, which was actually built by the United States. This colorful structure you see across the way is the Bio Museo, or Bio Museum, whose focus is on the natural history of Panama. What he said. This is called Hatch Street, as you can imagine. The creator of Hatch Street, Aniel Baltran, got the idea from his trips to Colombia and Puerto Rico. There are almost 1,000 hats hanging along the street, with several hat stores along the way.
Pablo Arose Mena, former governor of the sovereign state of Panama. At the top of this monument is a statue of a Gallic rooster, which is a symbol of the French people. This area here in Casco Vallejo is known as the Plaza of France, or French Square. This was originally built as a military plaza. It is now a monumental complex that commemorates the glory of those linked to the construction of the French Canal. So this area, French Square, is a tourist attraction where locals do come to sell their wares. This tented building with a dome in front is a performing arts center. Came the night, came the rain, came the lightning. This is actually the rainy season. May uh, to December is the rainy season. December to April is the dry season. Interestingly, Panama does not have four seasons, but two, the dry and the wet season. Otherwise, it's around 90 degrees all year long, give or take except for the higher elevated areas in Panama, like Boquete, that have spring-like weather all year long. Adios.